Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the fourth and final part of this AI only America's campaign. This is definitely going to be the final episode unless, I don't know, something like super big happens but I'm 99% certain this is going to be the final episode. Um, and yeah, um, of course we'll just go through the final 50 turns as usual then, um, you know, I'll got a few things to mention at the end as well and then uh, the yeah, y you'll see when everything comes. Um, anyway, I want to start this uh, video off, and uh, the Aztecs have started off uh, the final part very aggressively. They've just gone to war with the French. They don't care. They've actually already got units in their territory. They had this planned for a while, and they're, they're making their move. They've already got them under siege. They've got an army there as backup. They're going for it. They're going for this. They really want this win, and I can understand it as well. And there we go, they immediately take some territory uh, from the French on the first turn of declaring war. The Aztecs have lost this campaign so many times now, now that they're in a place where they can win, they want to get their win, they're, they're going for it. I know the AI can't feel, doesn't care or anything like that, but that's what it feels like right now. But the AI wants it that much. And then immediately making a push onto the Mayans as well. Um, over here they're probably going to take... Um, Ponto Chan, um, unless the Mayans can bring in some reinforcements. And no, the, the Mayans didn't even get time to bring in reinforcements because Aztecs got first and they immediately took the village. Now, they're clearly, if you're having rebels spawn in your territory that are this size, then you're having some form of a problem. They're, they're able to clean them up very easily, but still, they must be having some problems eternally. Um, internally, not eternally. Whatever. Well, uh, to have rebels that size. Uh, the Mayans are making a push now. Uh, they've of course got, uh, I'll say like three very large stacks um, in Aztec territory. I think the Aztecs outnumber them at this point now that they've pushed all the troops down to here but still the Mayans could still do some damage. Uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, how they actually do their final last stand. Uh, will it just collapse or will they actually pull up a good fight? Yes, the Mayans have uh, their settlement back under siege again, wanting to retake it. Um, I think the Aztecs will get there with reinforcements first because it's their turn next, but, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? Come on, Mayans, get at least a bit of a comeback going, and... Ooh, the Aztecs just pushed them back immediately in one battle, and the Mayans brought some more units in, but they're just far too outnumbered. They need to just pull back from this and uh, try again somewhere else. I think the Aztecs took that, or maybe that fell a while back, I can't really remember. Um, ooh, I think they've made a push down here as well. Or maybe that had already happened, I don't know, I'm losing track at this point. Meanwhile, the French Aztec front, there's been a few fights, but uh, like no settlements have changed hands or gone under the siege, nothing too serious yet. And I think the Aztecs and the Apache tribes are still allied. Oh, no, it's they're a vassal, so yeah, these two territories are added onto the Aztecs at the end, which... You know, I think the Aztecs right now, they own about 75% of a map, so if anyone can beat them, you know, in, in just this episode, if a faction beats from this episode, I want to see it, because that's going to be a very impressive comeback. Um, imagine that, if, if a faction actually comes back and gets a win other than the Aztecs. They'd have to act very fast. They'll have to, if the French, for example, take a settlement every two turns, even then I don't think they'll be able to do it. These Aztecs are holding this bridge. They're not letting the French pass. We've probably got Gandalf there or something. Um, yeah, but they've been like stood here now for about five turns possibly, and the French haven't even attacked them. They just they just stand there doing nothing. Very brave soldiers. But the French, they're just too scared to make a push. They're not doing really anything. They're not pushing on them. And whilst the Aztecs are just holding down this bridge. They're just bringing in more reinforcements and of course destroying the Mayans as we can see uh, down here. Not They've kind of slowed down with their push, uh, you know, they don't have anything under siege yet, but you know, once they get their full army on the front line, that's when things are just going to collapse. But really, a flood happened here. In the middle of a the desert, there was a flash flood. How? Now I couldn't understand if it was like closer to the river, but oh, <laughs> uh, 
For the viewers of mine who live in a desert, do you usually get flash floods? In the beds? There's something about the desert and large amount of water that my mind... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's a common thing, but... Yeah, it j the two go don't go together in my mind. He's got some friends with him now, but still they're holding that bridge. The French are not going to pass that bridge, and they're holding this one down as well. I, actually, there's no... Oh, yeah, there is... Okay, there's a gap here where the French can come through, but... You know, they're, they're really holding them down, and they've got an army in their territory as well. They're just... They're not fighting. The, the Aztecs are just walking past, and the French aren't fighting them. It's... It's weird. Uh, I don't think... I don't know if they're bugged, or I don't think they can win. I don't really know what's happening, but... Yeah, they're not fighting it. And the French have, like, the better units. They've got gunpowder, and they outnumber the Aztecs as well. That's... That's what just makes it super weird. The Mayan capital, Tikal, is under siege by the Aztecs. Will it fall this turn? Boom, and there they go. The Mayans are out. They've lost the capital. Um, if... I don't go by the capital rule, no, I'm not going to go by the capital rule in this one, but still, if I did, the only factions that can win are the Apachians, uh, the Aztecs, and the French, because uh, they still hold the capitals. Whereas the mains, they've lost theirs, so I I'm not going to go by capital rule, never mind. They've cut them off. The mains have been split in two. They've got two settlements here, and then it's Aztec borders, and then it's back to Mayan borders. And it looks like they're going to lose another settlement as well. Yeah, the, the gap between these two uh, separated Mayan empires, uh, well, it's the same empire but separated um, by the Mayans, it just keeps getting wider as the Aztecs expand further. I don't know what the Mayans are going to do. I don't think there's anything they can do on the French. Um, yeah, this is just the weirdest border ever. No battles have been fought, but this is just weird at this point. Gunpowder means nothing to these Mayans, that's not going to stop them, they're just expanding. That's that's all they do, they just keep on expanding. They've only got... well, no, they're, they're probably not... Do, I don't think they can destroy France unless they get them by regicide, because I don't think they can build boats, so they're not going to be able to take Havana, but if they get the French hit by the regicide, then... Oh wow, that, that could be really good. They could actually go world domination with this campaign. They could do it. And they've got another settlement under siege. And the French, they, they're not even probably going to get, be able to get there in time because the Aztecs have their turn first. So they're probably going to take another settlement from them. Come on, France, you've just been walked over at this point. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed the regicide. The Mayans got destroyed. They lost their general. No mercy was shown to the backstabbing Mayans. The Aztecs, they got stabbed in the back and they just went straight after them and destroyed. Wow, they, they just wiped them out. Of course, the Mayans had a very good push at the start, but then once the Aztecs realised and got the troops there, they just destroyed them. There's two rebel settlements left um, on the south and, yeah, no Mayans. Faction destroyed. So it's only Aztecs... Uh, their vassal, the, uh, the Apache, and the French left, and that's it. <laughs> oh wow, and there's still 25 turns. I've got to say, well done to the Aztecs for this campaign. I'm, I'm so happy that we've got a clear winner. Won't it be funny if uh, the Aztecs destroy the French, and then the Apaches go to war with the Aztecs, they kill their last general by some miracle, and the Aztecs get hit by a regicide, and the Apache win. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> it is possible. That's the weird thing. It's still possible. It's not yet over. But 99% um, it, is over. And the French are now in that same scattered position as we've seen before, um, in nations that are just completely on the downfall, where we've got loads of troops around, but there's just nothing really there, whereas their enemies have in a full stack. We saw it happen uh, to the Apachean tribes, we saw it happen to the Shishimek, um, we saw it happen to the Mayans, and all factions, once they had to, once they were in that position, they just got destroyed. And now it's happening again to the French. Okay, France, really? Do I have to blur your border out this time? 
do I have to blur it? Well, it seems like uh, the French are making a little bit of a comeback here. Uh, they managed to retake Louisiana from the Aztecs, uh, but... You know, how, how did they get an army around all this? Weird. But anyway, either way, the Aztecs, they're probably going to take it back with this army or something, and they're also starting to make a push now into uh, the Florida part. I don't actually know where the border of Florida starts, whether it's, like, actually here or here, but... I don't care. Chicken Eatsa has fallen to the Aztecs. Isn't that Wonder on Civ 5? Oh, finally, someone's going for that settlement. For it would remain rebel for the rest of the game. From losing their first battle against a rebel settlement to being the most dominant faction this campaign has ever seen. The Aztecs have taken the win. I don't have a clue what they sacrificed, but the gods must have been on their side with this one. This was a very good campaign to watch, and the Aztecs got the win, and I didn't expect it. They've done so bad in all the other campaigns, I thought this was just going to be the same. But no, they came with all their strength, they wanted this win, and they got it. Well done to the Aztecs for getting a clear first place after 200 turns. That, that, this has been just incredible. Um, Wow, I, I don't know what to say. I did not expect an AI, uh, especially the Aztecs, to get this powerful by turn 200. I thought I would have to go into another 50 turns just to have a winner, that is clear. That is what I've had to do in uh, other times I've recorded this. It, it was just so unexpected. I did, I did, just did not see it coming. Um, it's Yeah, I did not see this campaign going this way, and... I'm happy it did. Why? Because it made for a good video. And a good video series that should hopefully get a billion views or something. <laughs> but yeah, now that we're at the end, it's time to view the statistics. So, of course, the Aztecs, they still own uh, the Apache tribes, uh, so that's plus two onto their name. Here are all the wars here, as you can see them. So here are the surviving factions, and I thought I'd throw the Mayans in as well. Um, overall, the Aztecs, you know, it, it's just a clear win at that point. Um, and military-wise, Aztecs again, they've lost a few troops lately with their war against the French. Um, but, you know, they're, they're just dominant in every category. Uh, production, yep, same there as well. Uh, and then, we'll, we'll get to territory soon. Uh, ooh, they were really rich at one point. That's a lot of gold. Um, and they are the richest faction, but only just. Their, their wealth is not as great as some of the other differences, but still they're first in that. And population... yeah, you, you can tell when the Aztecs and the Mayans went to war, it was here. And it all just collapsed after that. And yeah, same again here, it just collapses. Anyway... Overall, with the settlements, we have the Aztecs in first place with, I think, they have 46 settlements of their own, but that's plus two because they own the Apache tribe, so they're actually at 48. Um, in second place, we have uh, the French with about seven settlements. Um, in third place, um, I'm going to give it to the, uh, yeah, the Apache tribes. Um, they are a vassal, so they're not independent, so do they really count as surviving? Yeah, I'll, I'll give them third place, and of course in fourth place we have uh, the Mayans. Well, actually in fourth place it's probably the Rebels, but we'll, we'll give it to the Mayans. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this series. It's definitely been um, a good one. Hopefully I've kept to my schedule as well. Uh, the time lapse for this series, and... Um, I will probably go a few extra turns for this time lapse, um, like just to make sure we get the full domination. There's no point recording the rest of it as a series, but for the time lapse, I'll go a little bit further and just uh, watch as the Aztecs more than likely take the rest of French territory, and just see what happens. So the ta just because you've seen the series, there'll be things in the time lapse that will happen that you didn't expect because it will go um, an extra like 30 or 40 turns into the campaign or something. So yeah, that time-lapse should be uploaded 
tomorrow if I keep to my schedule. Yeah, it should go up tomorrow, and yeah. So hope you enjoyed this series. I kind of know what I'm doing next, kind of don't. Um, but you know, we'll, you'll see when I start the series. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed, and good bye.